Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we're gonna be finishing up and going in for some of the Ghoulish Gallery with our collection. So overall, we're gonna build the collection out first when it comes to the Awakened version of Shamira, we are gonna try, and I like going in here specifically for these Awakened collections. Now for here, we are gonna pop a couple Mythic Totems in here. So we're gonna be using some of the Tank Totems right here as a Tank collection. Because when it comes to the Awakened version of Shamira, we wanna build some HP in there, making sure that we really do have the build of the hero in here. So that is the first one we're going for. And then we are going for Sturdy Shield. Reason being, we want health. Now, the way that the Awakened version of Shamira works is with HP. We're trying to stack some HP on there, maybe get some energy recovery if we can, but overall, these are the two builds that we're looking for. And then we're also going in to try to get a Supreme skill set, getting that plus one skill. Now, this would be ideal based on the artifact because Shamira only needs the plus one when it comes to the build. So we're only looking to get this actually to a level one within this collection itself based on the tank abilities and based on the awakened version of Shamira. Fingers crossed we can get this. Now going through here, we just do the quick explore. Now you have to make sure that you're doing this on a regular basis. Every time you're coming in through here and every time you're actually making progression, you're going to accumulate more of your arcane shafts as you're making more progression. And you wanna make sure that you're doing this again, kind of on a consistent basis. Now there we got a little bit of damage resistance but I'm gonna to try to take these up as high as I can. Right there is a full attack. I will take a full attack. That is a good one, as well as a couple of the percentages. But what we're trying to do is get those mythics. So there we go. So we got a defense. I would love to see an HP in there, but overall, because she is a tank, that might, might make a big difference. Sturdy Shield is giving us an HP. Haven't seen a swap yet. I would love to see a swap in here. Um, so we could actually swap that mythic ability up to a higher. And there we go, there's another HP right there. There's some attack, there's some defense. I like those, so here is a swap. Now again, based on Shimira herself, I wanna see if we have an HP, which we do. I'm gonna swap this in here for a full HP. Again, defense, I know it's not the highest. The damage resistance is a little bit higher, but I wanna swap for an HP because remember, the Awakened version of Shimira, who we're building this for, is based on that HP. But look at this, a full buffer, a full HP. Now also, um, she does have that erosion. So we haven't seen a lot of the erosion, but here is another swap. So HP defense we have, we have the dissolve in there. I think I might swap a dissolve to see what we have here. There's crit damage amplification. Again, it might go in here for some more HP, but there is some erosion. I wanna build some erosion. Now, all game modes, it's not gonna make a big difference, um, but some game modes, it's gonna be incredibly, incredibly important to have. And of course, we only get that one, which we do get two out of there based on this. We didn't see that plus one skill. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have the, the plus one, but we did get another defense in there based on that. So we can throw some HP in there. Again, throw a little bit of defense in there. I don't think, what do we got? A full HP, full HP, defense, full buffer. I'm gonna throw an HP in there, which we could put another HP. Now, if I would have gotten the plus one skill, I would have used one of these in here to actually just supercharge the HP. Um, but overall, it, it seems like this is gonna be one that works. Now, of course, on this side, we're gonna go with the attack. And again, we have a really, really lousy lineup when it comes to this side. So we'll go ahead and we'll put some full erosion in there. Um, I'm not gonna do Life Leech Insight. Again, the difference of the crowd control, possibly PVP aspect, we could see it. But then looking here, I think I'm just gonna go put some more HP on her. Um, again, because HP is what we're really looking for in addition to the attack. Now the Ability Vault, of course, we don't have any attack scrolls, no custom scrolls. So overall on this run, not very impressive. Um, we did get two pretty solid ones in there with the two of our mythic abilities. But again, overall, this is what we're looking to build. And as we continue to go through here, there are 10 more of our staffs. We're stacking staffs every single day to allow us to actually get to, and as you can see right here, we're at 56. But if we get to 80 right here on the bottom, we'll have the ability to get a lot more, um, a lot more collections, a lot more mythic abilities out of here. Now, in addition, we also want to look for, and this one's going to be interesting because it's going to be a real shot in the dark on this one. Now, we have a pretty good set with the Awakened version of Laika, but we need one for Baden or we need one for Thane. 
This one again is gonna be kind of a luck of a draw on this one because we're gonna go for Miracle Worker with the level and then this one we're gonna go for this level as well. Now this is looking at trying to build out a plus two. So actually having this, um, this collection up to a two based on having Miracle Worker. Now we guarantee that it is going to go to a one, but let's see what we can do in here and getting this up to a two. Got a couple purples right there. The refresh, and again, I was hoping we could get a few more. There's an attack, which means we could see if we can build this up to actually get a swap on there. Grid damage might be pretty good. Let's go ahead and swap some of this to dissolve, which there's a magic pierce. A lot of times we see the, the, the ones we don't want within here, because magic pierce, I really not gonna use. Again, just kind of based on it. Heal, I'm not really gonna use. Um, full buffer, not really gonna use. So again, we're trying to get, there's a heal. But trying to get some of these much higher, which again, this one, not gonna make a big difference. I know crit damage amplification, but even looking here, not really a big, big choice. We could swap our defense just to get it a little bit higher. We need to get lucky. There's a buffer, which again, that would be pretty good on a swap. We wanna keep the attack right there. We're starting to get a lot more purple. And this is why players hate this game mode guys there is just a lot of rng so there is a very very big piece of rng and again trying to level these up trying to get them to that mythic ability not seeing really anything up there which we got dissolve i'm going to go ahead and reset the dissolve we'll save that tenacity giving us another tenacity right there and again none at this point replica which again we don't even have the attack very high which kind of stinks um Yeah, not, not a good run at all. We got buffer right there. Let's refresh one of these tenacities. Damage resistance, okay, that one's decent, but again, no red, and this again is the reason why so many players hate this. Now, now overall, we got an uh, LV, we got an attack, but that only means we have one. So we are trying to get the double skill level in there. So again, this one isn't gonna be super effective on there. Um, we could probably throw some erosion in there because just because of the attack, I mean, that's, but they're full erosion. You know what? I'm going to go attack. I'm going to go crit damage amplification again. There's probably another hero we can swap this one to. And then of course in here, damage resistance is huge that we're looking at. Um, crit damage resistance, HP. Right here, we have some defense. We have some defense. Defense is really the next one, short of that tenacity in there. We can throw tenacity in there. We can throw some defense in there. And then again, as a attacking rune, um, there's not really much of anything else to build in here. So that is pretty sad to see. We have the full erosions. Um, yeah, the buffer. Let's go full erosion. So depending on what they're build. So unfortunately, again, another very bad build with this one. And this is, again, the reason why so many players are hating the RNG factor. It is it is really sad. Um, now, of course, when it comes to a couple of them, like when it comes to a lot of heroes that are just really dependent on the damage aspect of it, we could build a few out of here, like building some um, timeline watch, building in here. Now, again, just looking at damage. We want attack. We want attack when we're building out Kines and Rook, when we're building out Naruko. Um, so looking at a couple of these that you could go in here just looking for the ability to really um, stack up attack, even stacking up some of the tanks could make a really big difference on the build. And I'm just kind of looking at some of the ones that we could actually build in here or thinking of what we can build because attack, essentially the attack I don't want to use in here because of the fact that when it comes to the attack overall, um, see attack full attack could be a good one with the piercing blade, but overall I don't want to use a ton of these and again, the rest of these I'm just recycling. So versus just using some regular ones in here, I'm probably gonna wait and just do some regular runs, maybe see what we got. Now, there's been a couple runs within the Ghoulish Gallery where I've gotten incredibly lucky um, with some of the pulls and some of the ones. Unfortunately, this time we didn't see any luck at all with either of our runs. But guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.